Uh, again, we see brothers brothers in the team. Azerbaijan getting themselves motivated and ready to go. Some argue that the team event is the blue ribbon event for cubitaing in both male and female. Well, I'm not so sure about that, but every single one of these would wish to be an individual champion as well, I'm sure. For sure. And there are individual champions, and we're looking at one right there on the left of the screen, Steven da Costa, the World and Commonwealth, uh, the World and Olympic gold medalist, the Olympic champion. So as the teams are lining up, the referees will just be making sure that they're in the correct fighting order. And as soon as we know that fighting order, we'll be able to let you know which of the athletes will come on to the tatami to compete. Also in there with the, the bearded Rafael Aguirre, five times world champion. Both teams made up of sensational athletes. Agiev also an Olympic silver medalist. It will be a very, very interesting bout. Filali from France is uh, fighting in plus 84 and uh, Mamayev in minus 84. Two minutes and 30 seconds still, zero, zero. We have Ekon Mamiev, Azerbaijan, with his back to us in blue. Fighter for France is Mehdi Filali. at the first scores for the bout. What's that all means? But the speed is so fast, it's so fast that the, you sometimes you cannot see really where it goes. Exactly, and th that's why the uh, TV video yes. review is so important to s the sport nowadays. The VR is very important. Yes, you can see. Oh. Karate has developed so much during the years, actually. And, yeah, and technology has helped, hasn't it, immensely. Yes. It's so, f so quick. Yeah. 
Mamayev uh, from Azerbaijan has a lot of experience. He's fighting for many, many years. I guess. Oh. Big cheers going up. It's a one one. As there's a, a score on the board now for France. It's one one. The Senchu still remains with Azerbaijan, that green dot. Still a lot of time to go though. 45 seconds. A lot can happen in 45 seconds, so, actually. So much can happen. And just like that, another point going in favor of Azerbaijan. <laughs> what a reply! There's a two-point score. Very fast. I was going to say that they were like really close. The distance between them is really close. Three points to two now. France lead. Azerbaijan have to send you. If Mamiev can get one more point, then that sent you will give him the match. Into the last eight seconds we go. France stepping back, deliberately takes a Joe Guy. Filali happy to receive a warning, Hans Chui, with five seconds to go. Now, just needs to go in. There's a round kick and. Oh, wow. Fantastic. There's another Yuko. For in the last second. The last second. And that sent you now makes the difference. And that's why he's so pleased. It's 3-3. Three, three. Oh. oh, now, here's a really interesting development because the referee is going to take away the sent you. He doesn't win the match because there was a violation. And the so now it's a draw. 3-3. Are, are three, three. The century will be come null and void. And so the result will be, unless there was a, a further violation, but the scores are draw 3-3, three, three, and it is Hikuaki. So both of them. Wow. That was so dramatic, that last couple of seconds. Number two out for France is Yonese Salimi. Number two out for Azerbaijan, the legend that is Rafael Ageev. This is the best of five matches. First one has been a draw. It's the first team to win three matches, which stopped the bout. If it goes to the end, first goes on the number of wins. If that's the draw, then it goes on the number of points. So points are really important, and there's nothing at all between the two teams at the moment. Both scored three points, and it has a draw. Video review, there's a kick. from the French fighter, Yonese Salimi. Let's have a look at the video review, Vicky. And it came straight after the Tsukate. As the kick went in, did it reach its target? Was it too short? Looks too short. But is what we said earlier, when it's so fast, even if you're in front, sometimes you can get confused. And you, 
The coach has now lost the card for the remainder of this bout. He has a card for all of the fighters. Still no score into the last two minutes of the bout. Still plenty of time on the clock. Argyev ducks out of the way, comes back with a punch. That's a classic that's experience. That's a classic move, isn't it, you're, from Rafael Yes, Argyev. you're in the clinch, you turn around, you punch. Salini trying to put Agiev under pressure, trying to get him closer. It comes in again. Yes. We have that fantastic defensive punch from Agiev. Uh, two points to zero. He leads, leading his team to its first win, perhaps. Still got one minute, 30 seconds, halfway through the bout. Genesi Salimi for France, hunting down Agiev, who dances around the tatami. So quick on his feet, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, footwork. His footwork is uh, impressive. Has always been, actually. And he's happy to work oh. close to the edge of the competition line, isn't he? He's happy to be pushed into that corner. He knows that he can escape. Yes, some fighters, uh, I will put myself as well. We feel very comfortable in the, in the corner because we, we, we know how to escape, we know how to score. Uh, he's got his arm up to make that block. And sometimes you use that as a tactic to draw the person For sure, in. yes. 3-0. Another score goes to Azerbaijan through Rafael Agayev. Again, Agiev gets the hand up, protecting himself into the last. Oh, Chudan Yoko Geri, that was more like it from Talimi. Uh, nice one. Good two point score. If he can get one more point and overcome that century advantage, it's going to put pressure on Agiev into the last 10 seconds we yes. go. Once more, Salimi goes for the kick. Agiev stands his ground with a punch. Another point for Azerbaijan. Another step closer to a, a first win. Agiev happy to step off the tatami. He takes the win. Now, what can Pana Abduliev, the number three fighter for Azerbaijan, do? Can he consolidate? But he is up against the Olympic and world champion Stephen De Costa. Uh, De Costa. I'm sure we'll realize that he needs a win for his team. There's been a draw. One win to Azerbaijan so far. France have scored five points. Azerbaijan scored seven points. And that's over both matches.
Definitely very strong fighter from Azerbaijan, Abdulyev. I think that Costa will go for the points, as he usually does. But uh, they do need points now. And the course is when he goes behind, he still seems to be so relaxed and in control and able to, to change the tables. Yeah. And there we go. That's what the Olympic champion and world champion is able to do. right in the line of the corner. But he feels quite comfortable there, as you do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have the, you, you know where you, you are actually, from experience. Halfway through the bout, France winning one point to zero. Third fight is always vitally important in the male team competition, as is the second in the female team competition. True. Number three is uh, mostly the most stable person let's say um, yeah how yeah i don't know how to explain it in english yeah it's gonna be the the rock of the, the team. rock of the team yeah like this person should win always number yes. three yep either he wins and the the team wins either he wins and he oh, saves the team that was so close that jordan mawashi that roundhouse kick from da costa now, I didn't get the flags from the judges, but will it get the support of the video review team? We'll have to wait and see. There's the kick going up there. Oh, wow. Looks a little bit wow. low. It may, may be just a little bit short. It certainly looks very, very close. And it would be red. No, it won't. It was just a little bit short, but it was so yeah. fast, wasn't it? Love the the way that the cost is able to just dance out of trouble and turn the table completely. Oh <laughs> wow! <laughs> Unbelievable technique! Insane. Panar Abdaliev had no idea where he was going there. Stephen De Costa takes a three-point score. Just sensational ability. Can I wait to see that again later in highlights? <laughs> that, that will be something. That's, that's going to make, I'm sure, a highlight of the championships. Cool. Oh, now, there was a, a powerful takedown from Abdulyev. We did hear uh, a whistle that stopped the bout, but I don't think there was a, an issue. We're into the last 10 seconds, and Asi Barai from the Costa goes for the high. Didn't e execute the technique. 
that Abuliev realizes he's not going to beat the Olympic and world champion. He's going to try to consolidate and not lose any more points. The points at the end of the day are really, really important. So that brings France back into the frame. One win each now and the draw. I think France has more points, right? France has nine points now and Azerbaijan has seven points. So we have number four out. Turel Oglazadi. Oglazadi for Azerbaijan. Number four out for France is Kylian Sizo. Now each of these realize the importance of this particular match because their teams now are neck and neck on wins. One win each and a draw. This, as all of the bouts, are really important, but this one is really vitally important because it can determine the outcome. Quick attack there from the Frenchman, Chizo. The team's made up of a variety of weights. They're not always the heavyweights, are they, Vicky? Yeah, true. Well, that was really sharp from France, wasn't it? But there was a counter punch from, Abdulli, uh, from Aglazadi. I think it's going to be yes, but let's see. It was a really good too. I say yes. <laughs> well, France, uh, the green dot has appeared that France has the sent you but if if it is a point each side then the sent you won't apply but there's the punch that we're looking at and is that on the money let's wait and see or is it past the target only the two referees in the bottom left of the screen will let us know will it be a red card or a green card mm. that's the question the and that the that is why the four cameras are so important because yes, it true. can show you, it can show you what the naked eye is unable to see I sometimes. I didn't speak too fast. <laughs> but, but when you mentioned it, it, you didn't have the beauty of that view. Mm, and I up did. comes the red card from Mr. Gamble. No, the video review team have rejected and the zooming in was actually something very I didn't helpful. see. Yes, very, very helpful. Very helpful, true. In fact, it's really important for the team to be able to use that. So, that century remains in place. One point with one minute and 28 seconds still on the clock. France still leads. Kylian Chizo in the red colours for France. Try to keep away Tural Egelazadi of Azerbaijan. Receives the first warning, category two. Just tuck yourself out of the way there. Loses a pad in the process. When you're putting your pads on, if that sort of thing happens, what goes through your mind then? Is it take your time and, and have a little think yes, about your strategy? for sure, for sure. Take some breaths and uh, prepare for the rest of the fight. The 
But she's so on. intense, right? Yes, it is indeed. Aglazadi knows that he's got to try and get something out of this match if he can. There's only one point in it. But it's the win that will do the damage to the hopes of Azerbaijan. And it will all come down to the very last match. The punch went in there from Red, from Chizo. 22 seconds still on the clock. That's another point for France. Once again, as Aglazari came in, that counter punch from Sizo finds the target. Referee just checking to make sure there's no contact violation. And he's satisfied with that. There's the score on the board as we close into the last 10 seconds. Aglazari still coming forward. Chizo stands his ground, turns cleverly out of the corner and out of danger. But he's being penalized for war. Uh, Senses. For um, avoiding combat. He gets, he loses the Senshu. Now he can't step off the tatami anymore. Doesn't have to. He takes the win, the vitally important win. So it's now two wins to France, one win to Azerbaijan and a draw. This is All the most down. important fight now. This is the one. This is the one. And it is one of the, the Costa brothers. This is... Jesse de Costa. He's fighting for France. Number five for Azerbaijan is Rafis Hasanov. Hasanov has got to win. The draw won't be good enough. Just to let you know, France have a total of 12 points. Azerbaijan have just seven points. So this has got to be a win and a win with big points. How many points they need? France have 12, Azerbaijan have seven. Oh, okay. So they need at least five points. It's got to be a five point win. That's a tall order for... It's a big pressure for... Uh, Rafis Hazanov. France and De Costa. Oh, there was a high kick went up there from Hazanov. Didn't get any of the flags. Coach didn't go for the video review. De Costa only needs to draw, or if he does lose, he only needs, he must lose with less than five points. What the pressure for both two of teams. Exactly. And there's a lot for the coaches to have to consider in, in yes. how they That's manage the That's the beauty the of the teams, of the team's committee. There's a warning for Jesse De Costa. Good counter punch there as the attack came in from Rafis Hazanov.
referee didn't warn De Costa for stepping off the tatami because he was propelled off. And that is not a Jogai violation. There's a lot of frustration creeping into the fight of Rafis Hazanov. He sees the gold medal and the European title slipping away from Azerbaijan. What advice would you give, Vicky? He's got to go for it, hasn't he? I would have, uh, from the beginning, I would have uh, advised him to do a double attack there in the corner, not just one. Oh, that's, yes, sound. Now, what's happening here? Hasanov has to get up before the count of 10. So the count of 10 has stopped. Now, uh, he has had a knock of some description. Jesse De Cossa is looking around. Not convinced that it was so hard to have that kind of reaction. We'll just have to see what it was like. Well, it didn't look square on the jaw, that's for sure. Now, what will the referee make of this? Because it could give a contact violation. which he has done so. And he's given a warning for exaggeration, which I think is... Showing too much. Yeah. Yes. The, the reaction was didn't merit the level of contact. So still no score into the last 15 seconds. And of course, there is a miraculous recovery from Hasanov in the way that he's fighting now. He takes him man to the floor, can't finish it off though. That was a little unfortunate from Hasanov. There's a video review request, and this is coming from the French coach for Jesse de Costa. This can be used as a I think tactical he, call as he much did as it anything. Just to let him, uh, I, I think to let him take some moment. But you see, there's a, a great leg Even sweep. Even though it was a good good attempt. You can see there is, a, there is a punch just going in at the same time. And it is a no. He can't score because he was off balance when he yes. was delivering that punch. Eight seconds to go. Hasanov moving forward. De Costa stands his ground. Not going to go anywhere. De Costa stands his ground. And there he is. Punches the air and takes the European crown for his team. Team France are the European champions. Great celebrations all round from the French team. They're running onto the tatami. Big hugs from the coaches. Great celebration. Team France take their first.